My name is Nick Toth and I teach the DJ elective here at AIM and today we're going to start with introduction to DJing, the very first session showing you how to use our DJ equipment. In the course of this series we show you the main formats used to DJ in clubs and on the radio that is vinyl turntables, CDJ and also digital, digital systems like Scratch Live. Alright, today we're going to be looking at the turntables and DJ mixer, the very basic equipment that we need to DJ. Starting in the 60s, still being used today, are vinyl records and our analog turntables. Let's have a look at the vinyl record player or the turntable right now. We have the platter, this one here. Simply press play and it rotates. On the platter sits the slip mat, this thing here, that allows us to play the record and stop it, cue it backwards and forwards and find a particular spot on the record to cue and release. We have the tone arm. This one here consists of two parts. The cartridge, this one here, which has the stylus or needle. And also the counterweight on the other side, which is this one here. This allows us to adjust how much weight is on the needle. Our main aim is to avoid the needle from skipping. Different cartridges will need different weight adjustments. So you have to read the instructions and adjust it accordingly. Over here we have the pitch control. Although it's called the pitch control, its main purpose is actually to slow down or speed up the record on the platter. In this particular case, we can slow down or speed up by plus minus 10%. We need this feature to allow us to beat match two tracks together to enable beat matching, beat mixing and our transitions when we're DJing. Moving on from the turntable to the DJ mixer, in this particular case a 4-channel Pioneer mixer, standard in most clubs. We have phono inputs for our vinyl turntables and the input switches here that allow us to select this particular input. From the very top we have a gain or trim to allow us to adjust the volume. We have three EQs, highs, mids, lows. We have the Q buttons which allow us to send the input from the turntable into our headphones. The actual volume faders and finally the crossfader. In this particular case we have four channels, therefore we have to assign the crossfader to whatever channels we want to use. A is left and B is right. We can now listen to the left turntable on the left and the right on the right. If the crossfader is in the middle we can hear both. That concludes our DJ mixer and very basic introduction to the gear. Part 2 will be beat matching and beat mixing. Hey yo, hey yo. 